Welcome back to part 2 of my internship vlog at Denton's Road Ike. This is me getting out of the house at around 8 so I can reach office at 9. I think something that's pretty unique at Denton's is that they are quite flexible with the starting and ending hours. So for example, you can arrive anytime before 10, but if you start late, you end later. I'm not always a morning person, so I really like the flexibility. During my internship, I did a mixture of work from different practice areas such as tax law, employment law, and m and This ranged from more basic tasks like proofreading and copying details to more difficult tasks like legal research. Sometimes after work, I try to meet up with friends for dinner because my internship ends a few days before I fly back to London. I also have to juggle catching up with my friends before I head back. Today I'm working from home because I'm actually down with the flu. I'm not sure if you can tell, I sound very nasally. So I decided not to work in office today and I'm basically working from home. So at Denton's, there's actually a hybrid um, work model. Different departments fall under different teams and each team would take turn um, to either be in office or to work from home. So this means that on alternate weeks, you get to either work from home or work in the office. But as an intern, we've been encouraged to be in the office most of the time. This is so that we can gain exposure to what it's like interning at a firm. But for me today, because I'm down with the flu, I don't want to pass anything to anyone. And I'm, I'm hoping it's not COVID, um, though I've been testing negative. So I've decided to uh, work from home today. Now it's already around 4 in the afternoon, so I've kind of finished most of my work today. But maybe I'll do a brief um, run through of what I've been doing today. I started the morning doing some readings. I'm interning in the corporate team, um, but even though I'm interning um, under corporate, if I'm interested in other teams, for example, tax or M&A, I can just reach out to um, the partners in those um, teams and to ask them for any work if they have. So for me, I'm pretty interested in tax. So I've actually reached out to the partners in the tax team and they've been really kind and really nice to provide some reading materials for me. So in the morning, I spend some time reading up on these materials. Um, mostly, they're kind of like articles that have been written by the partners as well as the associates in the tax team. They are pretty easy to understand because they're meant for like the layman, they're meant for clients, they're meant for you know anyone who stumbles upon their website. Um, it's not supposed to be overly complicated or you know written in legal jargons. So it was quite easy to read through and I think I really learned a lot to understanding the very basic and the foundations of tax law. Um, I definitely have a lot more to learn but I think this is a very comfortable um, pace that I'm going at and it's a great place to start. So this morning I've basically been reading articles on recent tax developments. For example, the base erosion profit sharing as well as some basic concepts as to um, the common terms that are found in tax law. So after that, I moved on to doing some work that was assigned to me under um, my home team, which is the corporate team. And I've been tasked to research on a certain area of employment law and understand whether it is legal for such an arrangement to be made. So I've been doing some research, looking at the Ministry of Manpower website, as well as looking up some statutes. I'm, I'm about 70% completed and I have a good answer um, that I'm ready to write in the report. Now what I have to do is really consolidate everything and present it in a very um, easy to understand manner. So I'm trying to incorporate some diagrams. I was also tasked to do some calls to ask some administrative questions to the tax authority in Singapore. Like even though it's a sim relatively simple task, the partner was really patient in explaining to me the context behind the question. And I thought that was really helpful because after I asked the question, I went on to read up a little bit more about, you know, what is the financial statement and, and gain a better understanding of the topic in general. From now till 6 o'clock, I have some time to complete the report 
I'm, I'm still pretty ahead of deadline so I'm trying my best to not rush this and to kind of make sure that it's um, a really good report. Yep, that's it. Let's get back to work. As you can see, working from home means I snack a lot, which isn't exactly great. I personally prefer working in office because I get to see my other intern friends and also because there's very very strong aircon in the office. Okay, but what's good about working from home is that I get to use this brown ice cube mold to make iced coffee, which I think is very very cute. You can get the silicone mold on Shopee and every time you just need to fill it up with water and leave it in the freezer. Working from home also means I get to have lunch with my parents. Today I'm having some porridge with pickled vegetables and braised duck wings. I swear I will never get tired of the CBD view. I'm back in office again today and for Fridays we get to wear something more casual like jeans. My friends happen to be busy today so I'm having lunch alone. I bought some wonton noodles from Capital Springs which is the hawker centre across the street. Is it just the introvert in me or is there something really therapeutic about eating alone and staring into nothing? In Singapore, we get these thunderstorms. Literally, when it rains, it pours. I always keep a thick sweater in the office so I don't freeze. Meet my fellow intern friends. Honestly, a crazy fun bunch to be around with and they made me want to come to office every day, but also made it so hard to leave. Well, through this internship, I definitely learned a lot, but I think more importantly, I love the people and friends I made here. That's the end of my internship vlog. Do leave a comment if you have any questions or if you like this kind of vlog. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.